The Leap Foundation proudly presents the Meet the Mentor podcast with Dr. Bill Dorfman. Dr. Bill is a TV host, New York Times bestselling author, two-time Guinness World Book record holder, fitness guru, celebrity cosmetic dentist, and philanthropist who founded the Leap Foundation. Here's Dr. Bill. Hey, Dr. Bill here. Super duper excited to introduce you to our next mentor, Joa. Uh, she is from Venezuela. But before I do, let's talk about Leap. It looks more and more like this Omicron is going to burn out and we may be able to have hopefully a normal Leap session. We're planning on it. UCLA has not given us any restrictions yet. Um, we have a ton of kids already signed up. If you don't know the dates, uh, Leap this year will be July 17th to the 23rd at UCLA Live. And of course, as always, we will run the virtual program concurrently with the live program. But you know, my feeling is that if you can come live, not only is it a better experience, but you guys have all been sitting behind computers for so long, you need to get out and like see real people and like, you know, hug them and high five them and all that fun stuff. So um, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we can have a normal leap year this year. Um, hey, that's weird. It's not even leap year. But anyhow, we'll make it be a leap year. Um, Past speakers at LEAP have been phenomenal. Um, this year, we're going to have Richard Branson. We will have Usher. We'll have Paula Abdul for sure. Um, past speakers, Paula Abdul, Mark Wahlberg, Michael Strahan, Hannah Brown from The Bachelor, Jason Alexander, Usher, Kathy Bates, Anthony Hopkins, Apollo Ono, the most decorated winter Olympian in history, and many, many, many more. And we have a great lineup of speakers coming. So I hope that if you are a student, 15 to 25, you sign up for LEAP. Uh, if you need more information, just go to www.leapfoundation.com. Whoops, it's right there. And if you are a parent of a student 15 to 25, and you don't send them to LEAP, you are a bad parent. No, seriously, I think it's one of the best, best things you could ever give your kids. So please look into it. If you have any questions at all, we always have people that will answer um, when you call our office and tell you more about the program, or you could just go online again at leapfoundation.com. So it is with great pleasure that I introduce you to Joa Rivas, um, she helps business owners and corporate clients achieve success by empowering their workforce with better health and posture. So I have to sit really straight so she doesn't yell at me. She is passionate about educating organizations and individuals on spinal health through a corrective and preventive program designed to improve posture and mobility particularly for those who sit long hours at their desk or maybe in a dental chair, and to promote overall well-being inside and outside of the workplace. Joa created the Posture School Program, PSP, in 2015, where she shares her knowledge and experience. Currently, she lives in Toronto, where she hosts a weekly podcast about spinal health and support from a nonprofit in her homeland, which is Venezuela. And she does that to educate and provide essentials to 1,500 kids in their community. Joe, it's so great to meet you and to have you on our show. Hi, hello, Dr. Bill and all the students of Leap Foundation. Thank you so much. It is a pleasure to be here sharing my story that could inspire so many of you guys and listening to this, um, this story of who I am and how I have been achieving my dreams. Thank you so much. Well, well, before we start, you can say a quick little message in Spanish to all of your students in Venezuela. Go ahead. Hola, mis amigos de Venezuela, aquí desde Toronto, pues les envío un gran abrazo y pues muchas gracias por siempre creer en todo lo que estamos haciendo desde aquí. Sigan trabajando mucho, los adoro y recuerden que siempre están presentes en mi corazón. Los quiero. Ah, uh, gracias. That was perfect. Um, so, first of all, how did you end up in Toronto? Um, yes, well, that's a great um, 
long journey that I decided to, to take uh, when I was very young. Uh, I actually wanted to leave my country when I was 15 years old. And uh, my dad, who is one of my first mentors, mentorship is actually so important. That's why it's so exciting when I hear about what you are doing to, to create leadership in, in California and all these students is so important. So my dad is my first mentor. And as a mentor, he guided me, right? He set up my, my roadmap and he told me, uh, that is not an issue to leave your home, but you, you need to have a foundation. So you need to have a profession that it will be at least um, the support. So I became a teacher at a very young age. I actually graduated uh, at 19. And as soon as I had my degree, uh, I actually had it with magna cum laude. So I had it with honors. Um, I showed it to my dad and then uh, I left Venezuela. So I left to Chicago and I lived in Chicago for two years. Wait, you were 15? When I was 19. Oh, 19. Okay. 19 was That's my better. Baby. Exactly. And um, I moved there to Chicago and I actually applied, which I'm, I'm very honest with my stories because it's also very important to be very true with who you are and how you got where you are. So you can see that it really takes a lot of uh, commitment to, to, to accomplish. Uh, so basically the only way as I could leave my country was with a program that called, it was called Au Pair. And I became the, first, the very first Au Pair from Venezuela. And um, I was uh, working with one uh, girl teaching her Spanish in Chicago. And I, I worked with her for two years. I was her babysitter slash driver slash uh, teacher slash best friend. She had no, 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 no other kids at, at home. So I became her best friend, her babysitter, her, her driver, her everything. And that's how I, I actually left Venezuela as an au pair. And after that, I moved to Toronto, which I found as a similar program, but with the, the, the option to, to be actually Canadian. And I became Canadian and be, becoming Canadian opened the doors globally to me, to my, in my journey. And I moved to Australia in 2015. Uh, in Australia, I took a year, a sabbatical year slash teaching yoga on the beach. And I really reconnected to my true nature of who and what I was here for. Uh, there was a transformational journey to connect to the, the, the coast of, of uh, the East Coast of Australia. And after that, I got an offer to move to Singapore as a health coach. I lived in Singapore for two years and uh, that just blew my mind. I never imagined myself as a Venezuelan woman coming to Asia and get the Southeast Asia market uh, teaching about health and how Canadians uh, live health fully involved. And uh, it was e exciting to get to, to meet all type of cultures in Asia. And um, I did a lot of studies of meditation while I was in Asia, where I got one of my biggest messages. It was a download that I always tell people, I was doing a meditation practice and I got a download like you about leadership. And this download, it came with clear messages and it was about 30 minutes download about what I was here for. And I actually created a program called Big Leaders School. And it's actually about having the three Bs with a brain awareness, with body awareness, and also with breath. So it's actually based out of how we can create the mentality of the next generation, especially in Venezuela, kids are um, demotivated because they have no examples no leaders to look forward for so it's a little bit hard in venezuela how much work we have to do to change the mentality of the kids in venezuela it's been over 20 years of corruption and abandoning with over 50 percent of malnutrition in my country and uh, still the corruption is taking control of, of of nations like my country Wow, that's crazy. So where did you actually learn your skills? Did you take college courses in, you know, yoga and posture and all this? Or was this all just empirically learned? Well, Dr. Bill, that's a very good question. Because my very first foundation, since I'm a kid, I always wanted to be a teacher. Always. I always remember I was playing games and I always wanted to take the teacher role. Always. I became a teacher. I have a degree. And I was sitting, like you, you are a dental, you work on the dentistry and you know, like you have to sit for long hours, you have to lean forward to look at your patients. Um, this is happening in many careers. As a teacher, you have to work many hours sitting, planning. 
So my back was being, has been affected with scoliosis. I was diagnosed with scoliosis when I was 15 years old because my chronic back pain was affecting my spine at 15. I could not sleep. I could not wake up without pain. It was like day and night pain. Uh, we find out after MRIs and x-rays, I had an scoliosis, which uh, led me to start being curious about how to fix it. I started practicing yoga and Pilates, and I did it consistently. And I loved it so much that I became a yoga and Pilates teacher uh, when I turned 20. So in 2010, I became a yoga and Pilates teacher. And I decided to shift my, my practice from a traditional school to teach two kids and teenagers to actually teach health and movement through yoga and Pilates. So basically that's how I start adding the skills of education, but in a different setting. So now I was teaching health. And through the years, I took so many certifications, including Thai massage, that is one of the, the practices that I really enjoy to release the joints, to lengthen the, the body. And I also include other certifications. Now I just finished the Brain Coach Performance, which is like a great certification that talks about the connection between the jaw, eyes, and, and the feet, and the posture. So basically, I just keep learning. I'm a long a student for, for a long time, so I'm still learning things. So in 2015, you started your company, um, Posture School Program. So let me you know, have you kind of explained a little bit about how you started that and what the objective is of that company? In 2015 is when I actually decided to move to Sydney, Australia. And before I left, uh, I really have to change my entire vision because I was living in Toronto. I had my clients. I had my practice here. But in that point, I wanted to, to, to change everything because I got divorced. And by getting divorced, I had to restart my entire life from scratch. So I had to become a new person with the skills I had. So basically, I, I decided to create an online program that could teach people how to improve the posture from a congenital issue like a scoliosis to issues like kyphosis, lordosis, issues that are affecting the spine. So I created a program based from my education, how to design programs for adult training from the University of Toronto. I have this program where it ta taught me how to transfer uh, the knowledge from teaching to kids to teaching to adults. Teaching to adults is different than teaching to kids. We need to teach through application. How can we actually apply what we're learning, right? Kids are more curious and they just want to learn. They just open like a sponge to learn. Adults are, yes, I want to study, but I want to know the why, how this is going to help me to improve my life. So I created the PSP, which is a posture school program, as a way for me to be able to work anywhere around the world and to have an online teaching tutorial program that will be able to teach people how to improve the posture in a 16 weeks. I'm not giving a magical pill. I always being very, very honest, explaining that having a back pain, it is definitely a postural issue that can affect you. And you have in your hands a practice, daily practice, that you can always decrease the pain in complement it with, with your doctors. You can still see your physiotherapy, your chiropractor, your massage therapist, but you still can do so much when you learn how to reset your body, how to incorporate movements and stretches during the day. So tell me what your business looks like. Like, do you ever go into, you know, a business and actually do a live demonstration and workshop or is everything online? Explain to me a little bit, like what exactly is your business of P PSP? Yeah. So the poster school program is, as easy as anyone can just sign in online and do it from anywhere in the world in two versions, Spanish and in English. So I actually record everything and I did the subtitles and they have my voice in Spanish, my voice in English. So basically this one, I just started with a simple idea to support anyone with a poor posture from someone that has a desk job, desk shop, nine to five that is sitting for long hours to someone that is 15 years old, 16 like me, and he was diagnosed with scoliosis. Um, that's how, that was my first idea. But as I continue practicing, we are now 2022, right? It's been seven years since I started with that 
original idea. And uh, the idea has been transforming Dr. Bill a lot after pandemic or through pandemic because pandemic affected us not only for our mental health, but also on our physical health because most of the jobs have been moving remotely. We got now so many people sitting for longer than before. So people um, now they're not commuting, they're not driving, but now they're sitting more more time at home. They have the kids totally. on online classes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And the epidemic has been affecting everyone, right? So the pandemic kind of offered me an opportunity. Instead of seeing as a problem, I saw it as an opportunity. And wow, you know, there are so many people now from organizations that have been affected by working from home with the with their own desk, with their own chair. Right. So how can I help bring in the PSP original to a PPP, which is productivity. So the poster productivity program now is guided towards corporations. So this one is actually being very well accepted, accepted because actually there are so many employees that are taking sick days and many times the sick days are related to the back pain that is affecting the stress levels and creating anxiety. And one of the things I wanted to talk to, to you today, and so everyone can listen to this and get a little bit of a tip, is how to improve your breathing. The breathing is actually interconnected to your spine and starts in the jaw. And I'm not sure if you know, but the jaw is connected to your cervical, to your neck. The neck is part of your spine. So when you improve your breathing, by improving your, improving your breathing, you want yeah. to improve your posture and you're going to improve not only the emotional level, feeling more confident, but also reducing the levels of anxiety and stress that is affecting us so much. And because we're not breathing properly, that's what's one of the main issues that is happening. So I'm gonna yeah. give you a tip, how no, we it, slow down it, the breathing. Is that okay, yeah. Mr. Bill? Yeah, no, no, it's, I, it's muy, muy importante. Okay, so let's do this, my friends, if you listen to this, this is a small exercise. So I always remind my students that everything is an acronym, right? And this one is gonna be the slow, right? A slow acronym. So how can we can slow down our breathing? So we can actually take six breaths per minute. Yes, you know, there are actually people take 20 breaths per minute, which is like, <laughs> right? And that makes you so anxious, right? That makes you so like um, overwhelmed. So like now I invite you to relax and to take six breaths per minute wow six breaths per minute how can we do that well you can use the practice of the box breathing which is four seconds inhale so inhale for one two three four then we pause for four seconds hold it we close for four three two one then we exhale for one two three Four, then we pause. Four, three, two, one. As you see, it's a 16 seconds count, which is going to be around four times per minute. When you can actually slow down your breathing, this actually can improve your performance and will reduce your anxiety and your stress levels. We can practice once before dinner, once before lunch. Can we do this? That's very, very interesting. Okay, I have a bunch of questions for you. So, first of all, you have this training, you have this skill, you realize the need. How do you build a business around this? I mean, if everything you're teaching is online, how do you get people, because obviously you want to sell a product. Are you selling to corporations where, you know, you go to Northorp and you say, hey, you know, I know you have 1,800 employees, you know, buy this for all 800 or 1,800. I mean, how are you actually getting people to know about your product and then to purchase something from you? Okay, well, from the beginning, I definitely started easily, right, become part of an organization. I was a teacher and I was just coming and teaching and they were just paying me per, per hour, right? That's how I started. And actually, if you want to check, take a look at my LinkedIn, all my tracking is there. But after I started looking at the level of receptivity of my classes, I decided to open my own practice, independent and freelance. So became Joa Fitness, right? Of course, Joa Fitness. 
Then in your fitness, I always dedicate my time mostly into posture because it's my passion. I interview doctors about this. So it's a lot of connection with other professionals that are working together towards the solution of all these people that need support for back pain. So I connect my business with chiropractors, physiotherapists, dentists, actually like dentists. It's so important to understand that when you have crooked teeth, Crooked teeth can affect the position of your jaw, which will affect the airway, which will affect your breathing, and the breathing will affect the spine of a baby. When a baby snores, which is fascinating, uh, Dr. Bill, what I have been learning, if a baby snores, that baby most likely is gonna generate problems on the spine. If it's, if it's snoring, it's because it's breathing through the mouth. We need to breathe from our nose. So the, the spine is actually something that is, is being affecting from the beginning that we born, we can actually be very conscious about this as parents. So I like to educate parents about their, the position of how they breastfeed the kids and also um, in, in all the stages of life. So basically I connect a lot with other professionals that can actually educate me and educate my, 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 my students in, about posture. And then but how then, do you build, how do you build a business out of that? I mean, you know, I know what it's like being a, a professional dentist. If you called my office and said, Hey, you know, I'm Joa and I had this great program and like, I'm not going to get on the phone. You know, I'm treating patients. They're dentists, doctors. They're so hard to get a hold of. You know, I, I guess what, I, what I'm really curious is how did you really build a business out of this? by you know getting a lot of clients to go on and buy your program and, and learn all of this valuable information what was your like marketing strategy how did you actually do that yeah i think the, this thing a lot especially i i believe there was a part in my journey personal journey that it was very powerful is when after 10 years practicing yoga and pilates from 15 to 25 i was practicing yoga and pilates and by 25, I had no pain. I had no back pain. It's like, wow, this is amazing. I'm waking up with no neck pain. I don't have lumbar pain. I'm fine. Wow, this is awesome. But I look myself at the mirror and I look at myself and I was really slim, very slim. It's like, I don't have muscle. I definitely need to put some muscle in my body. So I decided to take a journey on fitness shows and I started competing for over six years. I competed and I, I actually won a couple of, of uh, prizes. But one of the things I learned uh, this was to, to, to connect to all these brands. So I actually got a sponsor by protein, um, protein um, companies, uh, supplement companies. Uh, I did a lot of um, presentations on television and I became more like a fitness a speaker uh, about, about health, right? So I think that also connected me a lot and I, I wrote articles. I like to, I'm not like, expert writing, but I usually write articles about a spine and I used to contribute through articles to all these sponsors, right? So I think all these steps where I'm connecting and becoming an example for other people through, through fitness shows, because in fitness shows, which I believe is very egocentric and I understand to show off your body is too much. But for me, it was a good way to, to, to show that my body was symmetrical because I started tilted, tilted shoulders, tilted hips, and I wasn't too, too symmetrical, right? So actually for these shows, you have to be completely symmetrical. And that was for me, one of the biggest achievements physically for me and being able to actually represent Canada in Australia, in Vegas, you know? So I think this is kind of a, something that helped me to catapult my business in another level through, through, through my own journey, it was more of a personal journey, but I was representing all this uh, transformation that was happening within myself. So I think that helped me a lot, but I, I'm very connecting to, to, to practitioners. So I think that's one of the ways that people come to me. It's like, hey, I hear you through my physiotherapy, or I hear you from, so a lot of word of mouth happens in, in this type of uh, industry. And uh, now it's a lot of trust, you know, like in Singapore, I built, um, uh, amazing community of, of trust. And I'm working now with Asia, with a corporation. We are working with uh, over 200 employees in a big project. So I believe um, when, you, when you can create the trust, I think it goes beyond, beyond anything. 
Uh, and I think that's one of my skills that comes from my heart. I guess I'm, I'm always trying to be honest. Um, I think that's one of the, the marketing, if you want to, 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 to believe. But to be honest, like social media, um, myself, um, like investing on ads, that part I tried before because, of course, it's, it's, a, it's an element. But I believe more on the Google reviews. I believe more on, um, on pictures when they post it and they tag me with them. That's kind of what I, I, I use as okay. my way to connect. So you have this successful business and you're doing amazing work. Tell me what's next on your uh, agenda. Well, I have big goals as, as everyone has with all these changes. I try to work with less, to be honest, because uh, sometimes we put so much pressure with, uh, with ourselves. So in this moment, I think working on a corporate level, like corporate wellness programs, is a great way for me to, to, uh, to reach more people. And I would love to work with organizations for teenagers, like coming back to my, to my story that I was diagnosed when I was 15. I would love to come back to, to give um, more education to, to teenagers of how to improve their spine and try not to ignore issues that are happening on, uh, on that time. And also even to, to parents of how they actually um, raising their kids and their, their toddlers and even their, their babies, the infants that can affect the spine. So I think I really love mentorship. I, I, I totally enjoy to, to mentor the new generation and to support through education. That's usually how I see myself always, is connected through education and in, investing, investing in other talent that could help me to, to continue growing. I'm, I'm very looking forward to expand through adding other talent into my, into my organization for sure. Oh, that's awesome. Well, listen, uh, mucho gusto and gracias, gracias. That was excellent. Um, if our students have questions and want to reach you, what's the best way? Well, I actually manage my Instagram myself. Like I, le I read the messages every night. I see who's writing. So you can always uh, get to my Instagram, which I post daily. It's Joa Fitness. You can go right into my LinkedIn. It's Joa Fitness. And my website is joafitness.com. So everything is Joa Fitness. J -O Photo is Joa Fitness. Joa Fitness, that's it. Perfect. All right, Joa Fitness, thank you so much for your time, for your knowledge, and for your inspiration. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. To learn more about the Leap Foundation, go to leapfoundation.com or find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash leapfoundation or on Instagram at Leap Foundation. Listen to the Meet the Mentor podcast with Dr. Bill Dorfman on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.